Uh, so my name is Julie Hancher. I am a co-founder and editor of a website called Green Philly. And it was 2008, I'm in my office, and I'm on the softball team, and my coworker Dave comes over to me, and he's like, Julie, I see you meticulously taking that recycling and that trash and sorting it. All that recycling is going into the trash can. I'm like, this is RecycleGate 2008. It's kind of a big deal and shatter my dreams. But I'm talking to my coworker, Beth, and I'm like, we have to do something about this. And these two guys down the hall named Pete and Danny had this sports blog that had like 100,000 hits a month. And I'm like, Pete and Danny can do this. We can totally do it. So we had to figure it out. I had to go to WordPress things on weekends. I had to break my website all the time and go to Pete and Danny down the hall and ask them how to fix it. But I did. So fast forward to 2015 in February, and I wanted, you know, I thought video was a cool thing. I don't know, maybe some people here might like video too. And my good friend Jill was working for her aunt and had, um, was on production. So I kind of guilt tripped her and, you know, convinced her to do a video for me with a local company called Solar States in Fishtown. So I'm like, okay, Jill, I'll pick you up. We'll go over and uh, do the video. We need to figure it out. And uh, go out to my car, but my bumper is on the street. It looks like someone not only like hit the side of it, but somehow hit the front of the car too. Like they smash it several times. That's Saturday mornings or Sunday mornings. So I'm like, oh, thanks. No, there's no note. So my car was totaled, and I was already kind of thinking about leaving my job. So four years ago today, I left the corporate world to work for myself full time. <laughs> Thank you. So I had to figure it out. If anyone here is an entrepreneur, you're always running into problems and you have some things that's gonna do social media consulting. And it was fun, but I wasn't super crazy about it. So I've been growing Green Philly for the past four years to make it a 30, it has 35,000 views a month and you know over 25,000 on social media. So like figured it out bit by bit. And then a month ago, I'm getting ready to take a breather. I've been working a lot. And I have a really good friend in the Bay Area, and I'm like gonna crash in their place for the weekend. And I'm like, you know, going through my emails, and I see one, and the subject line is important media request. I'm like, huh, what's this? So I open it up. Someone's like, hey, I'm from AJ Plus, an Al Jazeera outlet, and uh, I wanna interview you. I like, wanna do a pre screen. I'm like, okay, cool. So it's on the phone. I'm like, trying to Google what she's asking about. And we talked for a few minutes. And uh, she's like, okay, I'm gonna let you know in a few days. So like right before I'm leave, about to leave for my trip, she's like, so uh, let you know, I'm in California in San Fran. I'm about to go to Henry Cowell State Park, which is this beautiful place with huge redwood trees. I'm pumped. And I get an email that's like, hey, can you talk this morning? We wanna video you. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm like, I'm in California. I hope she doesn't mind. So, uh, I pick up the phone and she calls me and like 15 minutes later, so I'm sitting in my friend's house freaking out. I'm like, what, what, what does she want to do? So she calls me and she's like, so um, we're gonna come to your house and film you and talk to you about recycling. So because of Green Philly, we've had a column since 2012 called Where Can I Wednesday? So we talk about like, where to recycle your headphones or what to do with your old CDs. And like, I have a pretty good grasp on this but I start freaking out with every item she's talking about. Cause I'm like, I know glass isn't, like it's down cycle, but I don't know exactly where it goes. So once again, I'm like calling my friends, no names mentioned, and city government being like, where exactly does the paper end up that we, get, that we recycle? And I had to figure out every single outlet of where everything goes for this background. Cause you know, even if you have an interview and you're an expert, you still have to like double check your facts as then I'd be like giving the wrong info. So have this interview, it's five hours. They film me at my house, I'm like walking to a scene. I have to do these like slow-mo, I, like I walk fast and I talk fast. So they're like, okay, can you walk down the street? So I'm like walking, and they're like, mm, or like first it's like this. <laughs> and they're like, no, 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 you have to walk slow. So I'm like, <laughs> like just walk like a normal human. So all this happens, it's like a month ago now. You know, they came to my house with this whole film. And the best part is, after I had to figure out all of these things, the, I was probably on screen for like a minute, which was awesome, and it was really cool. 
But as I was really thinking about all these recycling issues, I really, you know, I've been reflecting on this for the past 11 years about our habits and what to do. And what I really started to realize is that recycling is a great solution, but it's not the only solution. So knowing that our things are sold overseas or sold to other markets, not everything that we recycle is recycled, is confusing. And then I just decided, how can we focus on reducing our consumption? So this random email about recycling and having this video thing really opened my eyes to figure it out and try to save ourselves from our plastic pollution. Um, so I'm just continuing to write about that, and it's a to-be-continued story, but at least that's my experience of how I got up here today, going first. Thank you, Dave Winston. 